the implications of the new technologies, especially, again, artificial intelligence and bioengineering, it undermines the very most basic assumptions of the liberal order about human free will, about individualism, about these basic slogans that the, the customer is always right, the voter knows best. Uh, the new technologies really undermine these assumptions. The crucial point is what happens when an outside system, an outside algorithm, knows you better than you know yourself. Knows how you feel, can predict your emotions, can manipulate your emotions, can predict your decisions, your choices, can make choices on your behalf. And this is true of the marketplace, where a corporation knows your choices better than you. Uh, and can again predict and also manipulate your choices. More and more decisions, crucial decisions in people's lives, what to study, where to work, who to marry, whom to vote for. There is an algorithm out there that can tell you better than, than what you can tell yourself. People think it can never happen. Humans are too complicated. We have souls, we have spirits. Uh, no algor algorithm can ever figure out these mysterious things like the human soul of, of free will. But I, I think that this is 18th century mythology, which held on for 200 years because there was no technology to do it. But now or very soon, we will have the technology to do it. And it will force us to rethink the fundamentals of things like the free market or democratic politics. How do you get people convinced of your vision and enough people and enough country enough countries to, to actually make it work. So in, in, in terms of the, of the, the first question of, of formulating a new vision, um, I don't think that's impossible. Uh, the first step is, is to acknowledge the, the realities, the biological mm -hmm. realities of human beings and how humans make decisions and where human desires and choices really come from, and the enormous potential for both good and bad of the new technologies to really hack human beings. We are very soon will have the technology uh, to have a really total surveillance regime in which you can survey the entire population down to the level of what's happening to your blood pressure and to your brain activity uh, every minute of the day. We might soon reach a point when, I mean, all the people in power, all, all, all the, all the uh, uh, powerful positions are still occupied by human beings not by computers. You still have a prime minister, you still have a CEO. But the prime minister chooses from a menu written by AI. Envision a situation in 20 or 30 years when the system is so complicated and so fast moving that no human being is really able to understand it. Technology will, on the one hand, make it possible to start enhancing and upgrading humans, and on the other hand, especially the rise of AI, will make more and more humans economically unnecessary, useless, and therefore also politically powerless. And the world or humanity might have, different parts of humanity might have different futures. And we might see really a process of some kind of speciation.